Oh, there you go. And we are live. Hello, everyone. Hi there. We are so happy to have you all here. Yes. Entities and what else is possible? My very good friend, Manfred Zapita. Um, we go way back, my friend, right? Almost like eight years ago. Eight years ago, years. it's like a, it was like a career in access, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, totally. So this is awesome. So we're going to be facilitating. Um, thank you for the invitation. It's really, really an honor to be able to facilitate, talk to entities with you, or at least a beginner's class or the house clearing A to Z, and really what else is possible with being able to um, do this together, right? Yeah, total different points of view, different backgrounds, you know, like yeah. uh, I like to hear from you what what's your what's your story behind the entity world. I know you I mean I, I knew you, I, I met you eight years ago and it was a total you were so totally different, like <laughs> <laughs> From the point of view of entities, of course. And oh my God! Yeah. Yeah, I like to see or to Ooh. hear the the change you had after talk to the entities. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. Um, I mean, I don't even know where to start, other than this was the last sort of body of work that I ever thought I would study <laughs> or incorporate into my life as an access consciousness facilitator. So, for those of you who don't know me, um, my name is Dr. Anthony Madison. I used to be a chiropractor. I still am a licensed chiropractor. And so I studied so many different techniques and modalities. And um, basically nine years ago, nine and a half years ago, my first wife, the mother of my three children committed suicide. And uh, basically left me in this state of, of despair, grief, <laughs> and really couldn't understand how or why she chose what she chose. And so along comes this another modality called access consciousness and this thing called the bars, right? Which is the first thing that we learn when we do access. And so as I'm going along uh, in access and bringing my children along with me and watching how it was impacting their lives uh, in ways I could not describe, at the end of the day, to keep it simple, everybody was getting happier, even during a time of grief. But the one mystery that still sort of like was like this open hole in my universe was like, I'll never forget right before their mom took her life. And I asked her, I said, why are you trying to kill yourself? You know? Right. And she basically said, I saw a demon. Hmm. And I know this might be too intense for those of you <laughs> who may not believe in any of this stuff. And some some of my religious friends out there and there's so many different points of view out there and I'm not going to go into the details but uh, I do talk about this stuff when I facilitate classes but um, but not really to talk about my story because I want people to know and get that they don't have to be at the effect of the spirit world now I was the person I I hated this information because I sat in the back of the room like I was only taking the class because I was hosting somebody, right? And I got the class for free. And then the first one that I took, it was Shannon O'Hara's class, right? And she's the creator of Talk to the Entities. And I only went there because I wanted her to communicate with my dead wife, you know? Because <laughs> I was like, please ask her why she killed herself. And so anyway, so that, that was sort of like my beginning. And it really wasn't until maybe three years of me being an access conscious facilitator, I started wow. asking questions about how to get stronger with my energy sessions and my ability to facilitate people. And between that and still having this like open hole, so to speak of like, when she said she was trying to kill herself because she saw demons and the demons were inside of her. I was like, I think it's time for me now to start exploring this conversation. Right. And then, then I took the talk to the entities class, the beginners class for the third time. And I was able to hear it. Like I could hear the information. And then I was able to start like connecting the dots, so to speak. And not only did it help my sessions and my facilitation, but it gave me so much awareness as to what the kid's mom was actually going through and that I could not relate to at that time because it didn't fit the box of church and religion. It didn't really fit the box of anything we'd ever, ever done. We 
We've had gurus too. We've done metaphysics. We've done all that stuff. And, and the awarenesses that she was getting, it didn't fit any box. Wow. And so, so she struggled with this, this, this fear and this angst and paranoia and all this stuff. And, and again, the medical community would be like, oh, okay, that's just the nature of the illness. But I knew there was more to it than just that. That wasn't enough for me, that information. And so, so I was able to receive this conversation of talk to the entities and uh, it's really changed my life. I mean, I, I don't even know where to begin because I'm the last person that, you know, I didn't believe in this stuff. I really didn't. I thought it was crazy. And that's what makes it interesting, especially for people who think they don't have any ability or any capacity with it. Like how to develop this awareness and like just by having this amazing body you can receive a lot of information a lot of sensations a lot of uh, awareness of mm -hmm. entities and how to use this awareness to have a harmonic space around you right like clearing yeah. houses and knowing that the entities around you are actually contributing to you mm -hmm. of who is really contributing and who is not yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, and it's interesting you're saying that because when I first met you, when we first in the very, very beginning, you were someone who it was obvious you had a capacity in this area, right? And so it was you know, ever since you were a child, like you knew that you had a capacity in this area. For me, I'm my point of view was like, oh, my capacity is with bodies and energy work, and because I was a chiropractor and blah blah blah. And I'm like, oh, that's only you know, ent dealing with entities in the spirit world is only for people like Manfred. And I was wrong about that that because uh, everybody has the ability to perceive no being receive that. But it took me three years before I was able to actually get that and receive that information. Yeah. And when you talk about receiving it, like, did you experience something beyond what you experienced before? Like you had this awareness in some way in your body or what does that mean to you? Like oh, oh, that? so many different ways, but the, 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 the one, the biggest thing that clicked for me is when like what, okay. It was when I was feeling really depressed huh. and, uh, but this time I had no logical reason for being sad because every part of my life was becoming like amazing working out <laughs> yeah and so then i started using the tools that we learn and talk to the entities right and then access consciousness like who does this belong to and so uh, i started going through all the entity tools and processes and after about 40 minutes of being really really present and actually talking to some of them clearing some of them um i realized that that depression that i was experiencing wasn't mine it actually belonged to them And that was my body's way of giving me an awareness of what was going on in their universes so that I could better communicate with them. And that changed my life. From that point on, everything just went. <clears throat> and, and then anytime I have an emotion or a feeling that's not so pleasant or even a body issue, I always ask, "Hey, okay, who does this belong to? And I'm not saying it's always related to entity awareness. I'm not saying that. You have to ask questions, right? But a lot of times it is for me. Sometimes it's the earth just asking for an energetic contribution. You know what I mean? So that was like my big like breakthrough is when I actually decided to get really present with using the tools and I started asking questions. And then because of that, that gave me greater awareness as to what my late wife was going through as well. Yeah, it's opening the door. and. I, I, well, when I was younger, I used to see clear, like clear images of these beings, but I never had this awareness of my body receiving also uh, feelings and emotions, even thoughts mm -hmm. from entities. It was mm -hmm. after access, uh, the tools of access consciousness and talk to the entities that I became aware of also the emotions. And like you said, like feeling depressed or feeling sad or suddenly changing your mood. I didn't have that information before. And once I started using these questions, like you said, like who does this belong to in a deeper way, like yeah. also including entities, not only people around me, right. it goes like, wow, ah, that changed a lot in my life. And, yeah. and 
it's something that can happen in your house, right? I used to live in, when, when I lived in Mexico, I, I used to clear my house different ways, like yeah. with sounds, with uh, candles, with, you know, all these yeah. crazy Same. things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, holy water and stuff, you know, and sometimes yeah. it worked, sometimes it didn't work. And I didn't exactly why I was doing all the things that I was asked to do, but I was clearly not using all the tools. Like I had tools, but I didn't know from the beings what they required. Mm -hmm. That's something that I really, I'm, I'm so grateful uh, with access consciousness and talk to the entities because that gives you the que questions, gives you this awareness of what is required. Yeah. Not all the entities are the same. And some of them require just communication. Some of them just require facilitation. Some of them just are there uh, looking to contribute to you and waiting for you to receive it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's scary to a lot of people, you know? Yeah. And it's like, oh my God, because a lot of people have the point of view that if you open up this door, they'll, you'll, you'll, there'll be this point of no return, right? And there's a lot of stigma about that, but it, it, that, it's not true. I mean, it's a lie. In fact, it will empower you more in all areas of your life, not just with the spirit world, but just even in your relationships as well. But it, it is, and, and it's like, and one of my favorite classes was the house clearing class, the one that you and I are both going to uh, facilitate because that gave me such an awareness of, of not only like when I walk into people's homes and the energies that I'm aware of there, but even like the land. Man. And because of that class, my sensitivity to like our beautiful planet ha has like exponentialized. And I feel like everything's talking to me. I mean, like even like inanimate objects, like this wall, where am I? Where? This wall behind me, right? And it's like, it's crazy. I know it sounds, I know it sounds weird and crazy, but, like, <laughs> but there is consciousness and everything. A doctor and an engineer are talking about spirits <laughs> and communication with walls. <laughs> the people are coming to get us. They're going to put us in the white jackets, man. <laughs> <laughs> but so. it's true. I mean, sometimes you, you might think you are crazy, but actually if you're willing to just listen to that, you can receive so much and oh, be like uh, opening the door to change stuff when it's not working. Sometimes mm -hmm. just memories in that house. The houses, all the molecules ha have information. And whenever there is a not a very good experience there, it just gets that information. It's it's holding that information. Yeah. So so whenever we are in that environment, it's not easy for the bodies to be there. It, they are just receiving the information and it can be intense. So having these uh, clearings and just being aware of that can change so many things there. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm so, this is so exciting, man. And, and you know, and, and again, for me, like I said, I, I, in a lot of ways, I feel like a baby in this area, you know, because, but, yeah. but at the same time, like I would go to a friend of mine had bought a house and I have this really cool story. It's actually that I'll share it really quick, but you know, she's having a hard time sleeping. And we thought because she had uh, had this house next to a church and there's a lot of activity, obviously that goes on around churches, mm -hmm. but I, I kept asking questions. I'm like, it's not the church. It's not the church. And this was only right after I listened to the house, the class that you and I are going to facilitate together, the house clearing A to Z. Right. I went to her house right after I heard I, I took this class and um, I'm like, I'm not getting that it's a church. Right. But there was this dirt road between her house and the church. And I said, there's something weird about where I'm standing right now. And she goes, well, you know what the town calls this road? I go, what? And she goes, they call it ghost road. <laughs> and she goes, this is this is where the slave used to just walk when they would be out in the field. This is where they would walk to go back home and whatever. Wow. And I was like, oh, my God. Wow. Because we learn about, like, entities that are just sort of, like, passing through as well, right? right. And it was like I, I was aware of the energy of it, right? But she gave me the specific information, and, and that's what they call that road, ghost road. And I'm like, oh, my God. So it's like how many people out there are aware of certain energies that don't seem right? And it's actually affecting how you sleep, 
how you feel, everything. Yeah, yeah and this is not about only where people die. It's also the, what people experience there, like just the slaves there. It doesn't mean that they die there. Right. The energy of the, their spirits is not there, but, but the memories are still there and that can have an impact in our bodies. Yeah. Yeah, um, I had an, a sim very similar experience in Rome. I mean, there are all places <laughs> like Rome, <laughs> yeah. you know, where people used to fight wow that was so intense for my body i at the beginning i didn't know why my my feet felt so heavy and so tired and then my back and then my whole head was like stressed out i was like well what is this and just by asking questions i found out that it was all these gladiators uh, still like the energy of them fighting for their lives and just a memory around around the coliseum and yeah, land. So yeah, especially in those places and countries where there is a lot of history, <laughs> you might find this this information. Sometimes yeah. you don't know what to do with that, but if you open the door a little bit, you can, you can do something about it. Yeah, and it certainly can make your life easier when you're traveling. You know what I mean? It's like when you're aware of the ancestors and just the different, you know, the the activities that took place there. And actually, like you said, the land holds it. The, the, the homes hold these memories. And there's an energy that's actually released and delivered. And we are aware of those things, but we think it's something else. So we misidentify and misapply whatever our issues are, but it's really an awareness. Totally. So, yeah. Such a release when you become aware of those things. And you can change it just like this, just like by asking a question. Yeah. Becoming aware, it is so contributing for our homes and whenever wherever we are at like yeah we land yeah exactly so it's like when you travel and you get off the plane you don't have to be at the effect of that particular city or the country you could actually contribute and actually facilitate these these beings and make make it the whole experience lighter for you and more generative you know even the plane when you sit on on your seat it's uh there is some memory there as well from all the people traveling and with these uh, headaches and back pain and <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and the body just communicates to that and perceive it. And if we don't ask questions or become aware of it, it we start buying it as ours. Yeah. So clearing also these places or uh, in this case the seat, your bed when you go to the hotel to a hotel all the beds and all the rooms with all this information from other guests yeah, that's right. <laughs> it made my life so much easier so much easier yeah when you travel but yeah. you don't have to travel much i mean it's these tools even if you just have also neighbors that are not easy to deal with there are some yeah. memories there are entities there are demons there are portals there yeah. there there is a lot of energy around that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. But at the end of the day, it's all designed to make your life a lot easier. And for me, like, like you always have known, you know, for me, I'm like, eh, I'll just pay somebody to give me that information. <laughs> and then, uh, I'm like, that's for those people. It's not like I didn't believe it. I just didn't believe that I can have that awareness for me. You know what I mean? Right. And, uh, and I got over that point of view because we all have the ability to perceive, know, be, and receive the spirit world if we're willing, if we're willing to. And uh, it really can change your lives dynamically and make it easier. Sure. That's great, like being willing to just let go of that point of view. That yeah. very strong point of view, sometimes it is it is not easy to let go. Yeah. I was very stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> I was very, very stubborn and I had a lot of things that were keeping me from actually growing and expanding. And then I finally got over that point of view and it's changed my life dynamically. And there are entities looking to contribute to you that just because there is a point of view that is like if there are entities around you there is something wrong there is something evil there is something right. that is gonna affect your life in a not very contributive way well maybe there there are beings who are looking to contribute to you and you are 
not receiving what they are offering just because mm -hmm. there are so many points of view here in your head. And so what do you say to people when they have the point of view of like, you know, especially if, it, if they follow a particular religion, right? And it's like, well, if, if you're talking to spirits that are outside of the ones I'm supposed to talk to within my religion, then it's not like, it's not appropriate. Or it's dangerous to do that. How do you, how do you how do you handle that? Well, I just exposed different examples. Like, well, have you talked to your plants? Have you talked to your and your pets? So it, they start opening their point of view just by oh yes, I've been talking to my plants, or my my cat or my dog. Well, that yeah. is the same. I mean, yeah. we communicate to different beings, different entities, right. and is that not allowed? through yeah. the religion and they start just thinking and being aware of yeah. oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's a total myth that that you can like harm yourself if you talk to beings and stuff like that and i've learned that there's a lot of them that actually do want to contribute to our lives and make our lives easier if we're willing to receive it <laughs> they are willing to receive it <laughs> yes awesome so how much fun are we going to have? I'm really excited about this. This is great. And you're doing a Talk to the Entities Beginners class while you're there. Right after that, yes. I'm also very excited to co-facilitate this class. This is the first time we co-facilitate class together. I'm sure it's not going, it's not going to be the, the first one and the only one. I'm, I mean, the only one. Uh, but definitely these different points of view and all the knowing and all the experiences we both have will contribute to all the people not only in atlanta but we are also doing it online so if you guys are interested in, and if you are not in the united states or willing to travel to atlanta well you can you can take the class online yeah how does it get better than that yep right in the comfort of your home <laughs> awesome it's just great to be around bodies again, you know, for the first time in a long time. So I'm just excited to see people like in person. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so it's going to be All great. Right. So entities with bodies. That'll be fun to see. <laughs> I know. Yes. Yeah. So the class is what? Next Friday, right? It is next Friday. Yep. It is next Friday. We are going to share the link if you are uh, interested and you can register, receive all the information. We are so looking forward to have this class and have you in this class that we know it, it can contribute to your life in many ways. It's not only about clearing space, it's about also trusting what you know and that empowering empower <laughs> you and that, that changes your whole life. It's not only in regards to entities, actually. That's my favorite part about talk to the entities, you know, that that empowerment and trusting what you know. Yeah. One of the things that I, I see more change in, in people. Yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah. There's, I mean, there's a level of confidence and, and, and potency that I, that I function from now that I never used to. And it's because of this piece. And I'm so, so grateful. It's not what I thought would show up, but, it has shown up and I'm super grateful and it's because of the tools and then the awarenesses that we receive that becomes part of our being. And I'm just, man, I'll tell you what, life just keeps getting better and better and better and better. <laughs> Would you say that the point of view of, um, maybe the rigid point of view of how the entity awareness would show up stopped you some way to, open up to this spirit world? Like, were you like very focused on how would you perceive it or? Um, my biggest thing was I'm like, it's, it's like, my biggest thing was, it's just, it's just for those people who actually see ghosts and stuff. That was sort of my point of view. So like, I didn't even try to explore that world. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and when Shannon says, you don't, have to see them to know that they're there. You don't even have to hear them to know that they're there. But you want to develop your ability to perceive, know, be, and receive. And that's a different. And so all these tools sort of help you to build up your muscles of perceiving, knowing, being, and receiving. And now 
I talk to them like I talk to a person standing in front of me. <laughs> Call me a crazy person, bro. You know, I'm crazy in a way that's creating a greater life as opposed to before where I was miserable all the time. You know what I mean? And so it, it's, but I do have conversations with them. And I talk to the earth all the time. I, I talk to people's walls in their houses. I talk to their pictures. I talk to furniture. It's crazy. Yes, I've officially become a crazy person according to this reality standard. <laughs> you know what? I don't care. Make fun of me all you want, man. It's like my life is be- greater than it's ever been so far. Truly, what else is possible? And how does it get better? How does it get any better? Yep, yeah, yeah. I I knew I wasn't crazy about talking to my uh, machines when I used to work for the company. I used to work at a factory. But just talking, I mean, exposing all this to other people, they were like, huh, that's not, you know, like, how, how can you get out of this station something? Like, how do you get a response? How do you, like, energetically can communicate to something that is, like, not live, you right. know? Yeah, there are so many possibilities. And also inviting people who don't, see things don't hear things and saying hey this is just for people who have this ability it is for everybody we all have it we yeah. have it yeah exactly so even if you think you're super like normal and not not a crazy person like some other people are but they're not crazy they're just super aware um you have the ability trust me if i can do it you can do it <laughs> <laughs> And that, that's a gift. That's a gift, like really exposing all these things. Thanks for that. So that becomes an invitation for people who maybe have that point of view and consider yeah. another possibility. Like, huh, it might be different for me. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, come play if it's light for y'all, you know? Yeah. <laughs> come play. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to seeing you, my friend. It's been okay. a while. And, uh, and uh, yeah, what else is possible? What can we create together beyond this reality, man? And how much fun can we have with all the entities with and without bodies and yeah. online? Thanks, everybody. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye.